Hey man, what's poppin' man? Look D. Y'all already know what's going on, man. We just gonna get straight into it. I think I be talking too much and shit. That's why I just be like trying to get straight to it. But look, check it out. I got a cool ass orange. This bitch not peeled right, but this bitch gonna get ate in a smooth type of way. You feel me? But anyways, I got the little water and shit, you know what I'm saying? I got the cool little vid behind me and shit. What this going on? Oh shit, it went out. But look though, check it out. No little Erico. Somebody else. All that, you know what I'm saying? Go check it out, man. You feel me? But look though, we finna get straight to this shit, man. Let's see what's to it. Hi, everyone. We all have seen at least one movie or series about daring robberies. In the movies, thieves usually plan their heist very thoroughly. Each second counts. Of course, this rarely happens in real life. A lot of things can go wrong. And thieves, as a rule, end up in prison. My fault, gang. Check it out. This orange for the get it's gonna get messy in this bitch, so don't mind me, man. You feel me? I'm eating this bitch any type of way. I ain't eating this bitch cute, nothing. You feel me? So you say something in the comments, I'm on your ass. But sometimes their brilliant plans do work, and today we will tell you all about them. Let's get it on. <laughs> Should be blowing my throat, man. Right, huh? One million dollar pharmacy robbery. Pharmacies are one of the most favorite places for both beginner and experienced robbers. Usually, the reason for this is rare and expensive drugs that can be resold at a triple price on the black market. And these criminals are well aware of this. Thanks to their caution and ingenuity, they managed to hit a jackpot when robbing a pharmacy. On the early morning of December 31st, 2015, two large masked men broke into one of the pharmacies in the Texas city of Euless through the window. They successfully bypassed the motion sensors and found the safe storing expensive drugs. The criminals seemed to know the area quite well and knew where the sensors were located. That's how they managed to spend more than two hours inside totally unnoticed. One of the robbers began to drill a safe using special cough syrup to extinguish sparks. These niggas professionals. By the way, the safe was purchased by the pharmacy owner this shortly before all the, the time incident with the purpose of protection against robbery. Obviously, it didn't help. In the end, the two robbers managed to escape with medicines worth about a million dollars. Managers of the pharmacy it. said they had break-ins before, but not one of them was so carefully planned. According to the information from the media, the criminals were never caught. Apple store robbery. The American... All these it, niggas man. money, what we fix to do, they leave. They leave. They ain't catch them. Good shit. At Full Sail, the our technology money. programs are designed with a different with approach to learning. We let oh, students no, no, get hands on uh, and start. Uh, uh. Tech giant Apple is known for always being ahead of the competition in terms of sales. New products released by this company have always prompted competitors to create something equally cool it, and thus stimulated the growth of the entire industry. Well, since Apple is so cool, their offices must be equipped with some incredibly sophisticated anti theft systems, right? That would be the logical thing to do for a brand that came up what? with so many different anti-hacking tools. Turns out, this is not the case. A couple of years ago, these four guys managed to steal several laptops and phones from an Apple store in broad daylight. Moreover, it happened in California, where the head office of the company is located. You can see in the video how the robbers grabbed the laptops from the table while other shoppers simply stood by with their mouths wide open. No one's trying to stop these guys. No fancy alarm system is triggered. It took the thieves about 30 seconds to finish their job. In the end, all four offenders managed uh, to escape from the scene uh, of the crime with gadgets charges? worth uh, almost $30,000. Thankfully, peace out. Good shit. Gang, hold on, let me see. They said things. I think they got caught, though. Hold on. Shortly after the incident, local police detained the suspects. Turns um. out they were responsible for a series of similar thefts in other American Apple stores. Mm. ATM explosion. They got them phones off, though. Do you think it's easy to break open an ATM? It's actually not. There were instances when criminals stole the entire ATMs and tried to open them for several hours in a row without any success. The biggest challenge is, of course, mm -hmm. opening the safe. Especially if it has to be done right at the crime scene, and not after transporting the machine to some secure location. 
Perhaps the most effective way is to blast the ATM, but it requires very serious skill. One small miscalculation and the this devices will is. either remain intact or the cash inside it will A be genius. torn into pieces. In addition, most ATMs have special temperature sensors, which immediately warn the Back private to the security base. company. To prevent this, experienced criminals Boy, use gas explosions over, what? that do not raise the temperature of the safe. In any case, the criminals in this video work so fast that the guard would not have time to catch them, even if they really wanted to. It took the gang only one on minute to rob this ATM, by the way. In recent years, ATM robberies have become one of the most common types of crimes in the world. Why can't banks come up with more reliable protection for their ATMs? According to experts, upgrading the machines costs so much money that it makes more financial sense to accept some possible losses from robberies. Therefore, we'll never get rid of these kinds of robberies. Stealing an ATM with a digger. Some you, criminals are skillful enough to even steal in time. You know who work is dead. You already know who work is dead. Stealing a, 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 a ATM with a, a digger. <laughs> Y'all know who work is dead. Niggas ain't that smart to do no shit like that. Or uh, that creative. I ain't gonna say smart. That creative, boy. Niggas ain't got no motherfucking. No digger. No fuck. These niggas got a digger. Okay. Or ATMs. A group of robbers from Northern Ireland decided to steal a digger to tear an ATM oh, out of the it. wall of a gas station. During this robbery, which happened in the city of Dungiven, the criminal stole the ATM and then put it in a van, which was also stolen, of course. In order to place the stolen ATM inside, the criminals cut off the roof of the van. Pay attention to how skillfully one of the thieves handles the bucket. He loads the ATM right into the van with one easy movement. The most interesting thing is that for the last year, several similar crimes occurred in the country. One can only hope that criminals but from other countries will not be inspired shit. by an Irish gang of creative robbers. Stealing Tesla. Is it possible to steal a car that costs more than $100,000? He'll probably Let's say see. yes, but it won't be easy. Now look at this video. It was recorded by a smart doorbell installed in a house in the British city of Borenwood. The video shows how two criminals bypassed the security system of an expensive car in less than one minute. Then... How, how are you even thinking of shit like this? How, how do you find it out? Like, like, what is that? Open it and drive off as if nothing had happened. Smooth, By the way, it was the owner of the stolen car who posted the video online. He was shocked how such an expensive car can be so poorly protected. And we get it. How did the robbers manage to pull this off? In fact, it wasn't that hard. All Tesla cars are equipped with a special passive entry function. This means that the receiver installed inside constantly picks up the electronic key signal of the car owner. He doesn't even need to press any buttons. The car unlocks as soon as the electronic key is nearby. You probably thought that the criminal simply reproduced the signal of such a key. Not really. In fact... He's like the smartest fuck. This nigga is, is too smart, bruh. This nigga. Simply knew that most drivers store car keys near the front door. So they approached the door. Then one of them used a transceiver with the no, signal I amplifier to relay and key, amplify right? the key signal. And the doors of the Tesla okay. opened. If the key were in the house, okay. this trick would not work. But in this case, the plan of the criminals went smoothly. TV under dress. You bet you haven't seen something like this before. When it was clear that no one was looking at her, this woman calmly picked up a plasma TV and hid it under her magnificent dress. How she... That's the video. That's the video. That gotta be the video. Look. The lights went off for this shit. This bitch, look. Hey, look, this a this a look, this a PlayStation 4, bro. This a PlayStation 4, bro. This big, bro. Imagine me. Y'all see, I got all the juice shit on me and shit. But imagine me trying to put a, a PlayStation 4 in, in my in my pants, bro. But you put a whole flash screen in. How the fuck? Let's see how this bitch for a woman. 
to move around freely with this load is a big mystery to us. Or maybe the TV fell out from under her skirt somewhere on the way? We'll never know. Skirt with jewels. Turns out this type of theft happens more often than you expect. Here is another similar story. While the assistants of this criminal are distracting the jewelry store consultant, the woman is stealing the expensive jewelry. At some point, she simply picks up a whole tray with jewelry and hides the contents under her skirt. According to some estimates, she stole jewelry worth almost $60,000. Brazilian Central Bank. Carefully I fuck with them. I fuck with them. Damn, what a it? Let's get to it. What are y'all at? The three of y'all. I need all three of y'all, bruh. But y'all, let, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Like, comment, all that shit, bro. Y'all need to tell me y'all we need to find out where the three girls is. Or it might be three of y'all girls that's like that. Let's get to this money, man. You see how easy that was? You, you heard how much money they got away with? We gonna stop it, you know what I'm saying? You heard how much money they just got away with? So smooth. In a smooth fashion, bro. Man, hit me up if y'all trying to get on that, man. AD said like sixty thousand, like hella hella money, but motherfucker, sixty thousand is hella hella money. Fuck you talking about. You're sometimes I be had to talk to myself in time. You feel me? Six thousand is a lot of money, bro. You feel me? Definitely if you're not investing your shit, you know, you know what I'm saying? But little dude, check it out, G. On my mom, I need everybody to like, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? No love. I'm finna hit this bitch for y'all. Watch this. Check me out. I be on some. I be on some high shit. I smoke every day. I think that's what niggas be. I smoke every day, all day. I can do that. Bitch, I'm no love. You feel me? I'll be my brother. You know what the fuck going on? I finna hit this bitch. Check it out. Yeah, I got that yeah on me. Gotta watch how I be moved cause they gon' tell on me. You wake up with a positive attitude. Have a cool mindset, man. You know what I'm saying? Be nice, be kind to people. Kindness bring you blessings. Once you be kind to everybody, it'll bring you blessings. Take my advice and I'ma take my own damn advice. And real shit, man. If y'all feeling down and feeling bad, man, just Look up and realize all the shit that's around you, the little shit.